Alright, what's good YouTube? Gentlemen, Thomas is here back with WPF Season 8 and yes, this is our week 1 team build up before the battle and I'm so excited to be back in WPF. It, as I said in the last season, this is just a league that is kind of dear to me. Um, we, of course, as if you saw either the draft analysis or just in general know, we are in A division this time around, uh, so we are definitely going to expect a lot of tough opponents. And one of the first ones is actually our week one opponent. It is a little bit unknown team for, for me, an unknown coach for me, because I have never faced them before. So we are going up against the New Jersey Needle Kings coach by a sword. Now, A sword, uh, as I said, is new from my, to my knowledge. Like I know he played in the low low tier division before, where actually I'm pretty sure he got the champ. He's the champion, current champion of the low tier division. So that speaks to his uh, general skill uh, already. And then I've heard like he's a pretty good coach as well. So I definitely have my respect for him. Uh, and by not knowing. But not knowing him as a coach, I also don't know which kind of style he likes to play. Sometimes uh, I do pick up here and there if I played a coach like once or twice before, how they kind of like to play. And sometimes I can uh, I can take advantage of it, but sometimes but mostly not because people tend to tend to change depending on what they draft and whatnot. Now, Aesol's team uh, consists of Mega Diancy, Cell Stealer, Slowking Gala, Cinderace, Silvali, Swamper, Drudigan, Rotomo, Pangoro, Ordino, and Butterfree. So, Mega Diancy, Cell Stealer, that is a 1 2 combo that is frightening to go against. It is such a good duo that his team can pretty much be, almost be carried by those two. If he can support those two throughout the entirety of the season, those two can just tear through most teams. Diancy provides so much offensive pressure with. Um, Having 160, uh, 160 in both attack and special uh, special attack, and actually having the correct amount of coverage that it needs to be able to plow, plow through most teams. And then there's Silla Stealer. Silla Stealer doesn't care about grind types, and it doesn't care about like most steel types in the game besides like the Magnus, Magnuson, Magneton line, and Heatran, I guess. And even then, Heatran like has to kill, otherwise Earthquake is killing Heatran back. So yeah, Silver Steel is such a good ma uh, combo to have with Mega Diancy. And then he has uh, mods like Slow King, Swamper, Drudigan, Ordino to kind of support them. Wish with Ordino, just general uh, bulk with Drudigan and Swamper and Slow King. Even Regenerator on Slow, uh, Slow King and Ordino. Like he has a really good like um, defensive team that can support each other and then a couple of really good pivots, so Cinderace, Silvali, like even Swampert actually gets flipped turn now, Rotomo, uh, Slow King with Teleport, so his team is really, really good. It is a little janky here and there, uh, but I personally actually had his team higher than what our PR video showed. Um, I think it's because, like, if you know how to shut down some of his mods, they don't get recovery by themselves, so he's very reliant on Wish Ordino, which Wish Ordino is not like the worst Wish Passer, but it's definitely not the best either. So, yeah, that, that's kind of how, like, the, f the flaw in his team might be, if, if you want to say it like that. But at the same time, his team just hits hard and it's bulky. So, I mean, it's, it's going to be difficult to go against. Now, with that in mind, um, I prepped this week. And I actually prepped um, one set on a mon. And it's actually going to be the very first mon you see. And I changed it, like, I've changed it, like, not not long ago, like I changed it. We we are supposed to battle almost uh, d directly after I made this, <laughs> and I changed it like right before I went in here because you, I was like, ah, you know what, I'm having second thoughts about this. So let me just put something else on it that could probably still work, and if it works, it works. So first mount on the team this week is gonna be a Shivo's single strike. You didn't see that. It's gonna be known as Zangetsu. So yes, our, we have a theme for nicknames this time around. I'm not gonna say what it is right now, but if you pick it up, shout out to you. So Shivo is gonna be Choice Scarf. Hold the speed is 1.5, but you can only select the first move to execute. I know what you're thinking. Why not Choice Band? Choice Band is the best set. Blah blah blah. Well, he has a Mega Diancy. So if I'm Choice Banded, he revenges with his Mega Diancy every goddamn time. And I don't have enough mods that can go against the Mega Diancy, where he actually has defensive answers for a Shifu. Uh, both his Dragon with Rough Skid Rocky Helmet does a lot of damage to me if I hit it. And his Silvali is most likely going to be Silvali Fairy. So I have to always remember that. Um, but yeah, so that's why I kind of went with Choice Scarf. It lets me outspeed his Rotom. Because Rotom, I think, has a decent chance of being Choice Scarf. So he can outspeed my Mega Beedrill. Um, I also went with Choice Scarf. So I can outspeed the Mega Diancy, of course. Uh, so our EV spread is going to be Jolly Nature with 84 HP, 252 attack, uh, 4 in defense, uh, serious battle defense, 168 in speed. Now, 
now, right now, uh, the current moves are just gonna be um, U-turn, Iron Head, Wiggle Blown, Close Combat. But, but I want you to know, I originally had a sub bulk up uh, Salic Berry, a uh, Shifu. Because I can actually sub bulk up on the Drudigan if he goes with that. But the problem is, if he goes Silvali, like every time I go uh, Shifu, uh, it's better for me to just get the damage off and then get out. Get out. Uh, rather than try and set up, because if I if I try and set up, I can't do it on a Savali if it's Savali Fairy. So that's kind of why I cho changed the Choice Scarf. Because I can still get uh, st something out of Choice Scarf, I can still pressure a lot of his mons. And if Shifu doesn't become like a mon I can't use during the game, because if I was sub bulk up, whenever I put in a Shifu, it, was, it, was, it would be because I would go for end game basically. Now I can put it into a Shifu whenever I want. Uh, want. It, re it resists um, rocks, so I'm not too scared about that. I can get a good hit off. Uh, I have enough coverage to hit in his entire team. I wanted to put Poison Jab over Iron Head, but the, the problem is the Mega Diancia actually do tank the Poison Jab somewhat decently. So in a case he has Rotom and Mega Diancia left in the end, I kind of just have to click close combat and hope for the best. Hope it kills Mega Diancia. Because if I click Iron Head, the Rotom is just going to survive and then it won't matter. Yeah, I think Oshifu is going to be fine this uh, week. This was a kind of a... Fast made Oshifu, which I'm not too happy about. I do want to think about how to how to use Oshifu this um, this season to try and get as much out of it as possible. But this is what we went with, and I hope it's gonna work. Next up this week, we the next up on the team though we have who a man that might be able to win this game. So we have Mega Beedrill, also known as known as Nozarashi. So I mentioned how I think he might have a Choice Scarf um, Rotom. Choice Scarf Rotom isn't the worst for me because. Uh, Leaf Storm, of course, does nothing because of four times resisted. Even against the Mega Beetle, it doesn't do a whole lot. And Thunderbolt only does like 70 something percent. So if, if I can just make sure that Mega Beetle doesn't take too much damage, preferably not have Rocks up, I can actually set up even on the Rotom if I want to. Well, not on the Rotom, but I can set up even if the Rotom is still alive and it is Choice Scarfed. So yeah, Mega Beetle, of course, is going to have the Beetle Light. I can't hold anything else. If held by Beetle, this item allows it to Mega Ball. Adaptability. So this Pokemon, same type attack bonus, also known as Stab, is 2 instead of 1.5. That means Poison Jab, Excessor, um, U-Turn, whatever, are going to do a lot of damage. No matter no matter what mana it is, unless they resist the move, it's effectively like almost super effective on them. So that's that's like why Mega Beetle is considered a pretty decent mon, even though it is a Beetle. <laughs> now, the usual we're gonna go with is an Adamantine with 72 HP, 252 attack, 4 defense, 0 special defense, 180 in speed. This allows me to outspeed the entirety of his team, um, barring any Scarfers. This is for Cinderace, and yes, we can run Adamant because our his speed tops at Cinderace at 119 base, and we have base 145, so we can of course run Adamant. Uh, the attacks are gonna be Drill Run, Knock Off, Poison Jab, and Soul Stand. I know what you're thinking, I know what you're thinking, I know what you're thinking. No U-turn on a Mega Beetle, you are a madman. You will understand why later, and what I'm trying to do might be a little bit wild, but if it succeeds, if if I, su su if I succeed in the, what I want, Mega Beetle can 100% sweep his team, without any doubt in my mind. Now... This does mean I have to support this. I have to make, make sure I can get rocks off um, of the field uh, this week. And Moltres is the greatest defogger, so I had to kind of go with a different defogger. So we are bringing Rotom Wash, also known as Nijibana. Rotom Wash is going to be leftovers. This point. Okay. Um. <laughs> what? <laughs> so I put the. Uh, Ability, whoops, okay, that's my mistake. I put the ability levitate. You know what? I'm gonna do a quick cut. And I'm back. Okay, so I fixed it. Um, I, for some reason, I put um, the text for levitate up where leftovers should be, but now it's correct. So we have leftovers at the end of every turn. Hold restores 116 of its max HP. Levitate ability, this Pokemon is immune to ground. It's the only ability we can have, but it is also an amazing ability in Root and Wash. The Eevee spread is going to be a bold nature with 248 HP, 228 on defense, 0 special attack, 0 special defense, and 3rd tune speed. Now, the reason I'm going with a defensive Rotom is simply just because 
I need to be able to take a hit from the Cindays. If his Swamp Box come, comes, um, Rotom Wash is the best Swamp in. He might have Toxic on it, but it's still the best Swamp in. Uh, and it's even a pretty decent Swamp in to sell a Steel Up, just because it can't Earthquake me and resist Flamethrower, resist Heavy Slam. Yes, I could be offensive Rotom because that means I would be able to kill the Celesteela way easier. But uh, Celesteela is not like an offensive threat so much to my team. Like my team deals with Celesteela offensively fairly well. It's more the, it's more like breaking down the Celesteela. But I, th I'm kind of thinking I can do that a little bit over time because. Shivu does a lot of damage to Celesteela. Uh, Rotom does a lot of damage and. I have a couple of monsters that can also do pretty good damage too. So it's about trying to play around it rather than just killing it in one hit. The the moves you're gonna go with are Wall Switch, Hydro Bomb, Defog, and Will Whip. So as I as I said before, we need a Defog to kind of support the Mega Beedle a lot. Um, and my team do like a little bit of removal in general. So unfortunately, I do have to put it on my Rotom this week. Um, I would prefer not to have Defog on Rotom. Uh, that often just because it that can always be like a nasty plot they can always be i don't know a trick a toxic whatever we have will with this time around just because if we can burn like i don't know the celesteela the silvali the swamba the Drudigan, the pangaro all of those mods would be a nice <sniffs> clean burn that that can definitely help us in trying to both will them down but also just in general nerf them a little bit Next on the team this week, we have Gucci. I don't know why this black background keeps happening. We have Gucci also known as Hyorin Maro. So Gucci this time around is... Oh my god, this is... I don't know what is happening. <sighs> Gucci is going to be a Salt West Holder Special Defense 115, but it can only select damaging moves. Uh, I opted for the GUI ability simply just because I... With the Assault Vest, um, I, got, I resist the Rotom Mose, um, both dual stabs, and I take almost nothing from it. Even if he starts nasty plotting, I'm not taking a lot of damage. So I thought about going GUI instead, because if he's like Cinderace or something uh, else that is uh, physically attacking on, having GUI to, GUI to be able to lower their speed can definitely be helpful. And I, if I lose to the Rotom Mose because I didn't bring Saps here, but you know, whatever, I'm just going to take the L at that. It is what it is. I I just feel like GUI gives a little bit more against some mons in this. Where Rotom, Rotom isn't like Rotom is both good but also not that great. It's good because if I don't bring um Gudra, he can just gets to do whatever he wants with his um Rotom mode because I can use Paddle Sand because it will just die to a um, Leaf Storm. I guess a Romatiz wouldn't be too bad, but then again, he just sets up on Romatiz, I feel like. So I feel like Gudra is like the correct answer to go with, but at the same time, I don't feel like I need to bring um, Sap Saber over Gooey. Now, the Eevee Spread is going to be a relaxed nature with 248 HP, zero attack, 200 defense, zero special attack, and 16 spdf. This gives me enough spdf to tank the hits I need to tank. Uh, I can also tank one hit from a Mega Diancy if I need to and hit it back with um, Earthquake. We do have Earthquake. So, this is also to kind of help a little bit with Cinder. Cinder can be a little bit of a problem if I don't watch out because Rotom doesn't get recovery, Gudra doesn't re get recovery. So, I have to be able to kind of swap between those two in case I need it. Um, this also he helps again with uh, Swambert. Even though Swambert could carry Skull, physical Swambert is also very like common. This also takes a hit from Celesteela if it needed to. So it's just a general bulk mon this time around. Um, I do plan on using Gudra both uh, defensively and offensively this season, but I feel like it has to be a little bit more defensive this time around just so I can make sure I don't die to all of his mons. Now the moves we went with are going to be Earthquake, Power Whip, Drago Media, and Flamethrower. So Earthquake and Power Whip uh, kind of self-explanatory to some extent. So Earthquake, of course, hit the hit the dance, he hit the Slowking, hit the Cinderace, uh, Silvali if he's like rock for some reason. I don't know why he would be there, but you know you get the gist. Um, Power Whip is because we need a move that can actually hit the Swamp, but fairly hard. And I kind of had the the fourth move. I only needed the uh, the other three moves really because Dragon Media hits most mons, and I, I don't think he would ever swap his Mega Diancy into Gudra. He might, but I don't think he would because he has to feel he has to respect like Earthquake or Surf or whatever Gudra wants to throw at him. And then of course Flamethrower. Flamethrower hits both the Celesteela and the Rotom, so that's why I had it over like Thunderbolt. Um. Plus, Thunderbolt in general just doesn't give me a whole lot, so Flamethrower is just generally better. But yeah, that's good to this week. Kind of like a, a mixed defensive, but just a, but, but kind of just annoying mon to, for him to deal with. It should be able to, to sponge a, a couple of hits and force some of his mons out, I hope so.
Next on the team, we have Moltres, also known as Rujin Jaka. So Moltres is going to be a heavy duty boot because if I don't bring heavy duty boots Moltres, there is definitely something weird going on. Unless my if my opponent has like almost no hazard setters and Moltres has a really good offensive matchup, I could bring something else. But I feel like heavy duty boots just going to be what it's always going to be. Flame body, thirty percent chance of Pokemon making contact with this Pokemon will be burned. So if he wants to, I don't know, high jump kick my Urshifu with his Cinder, well. What I'm saying, I can't, I can't burn that. I don't know. Uh, Silvali, if he wants to try and uh, hit my uh, Ashiva with a multi attack, and I'm going to Moltres. Not only do do, do I resist uh, Silvali Fairy multi attack, I have a chance to burn him. And if I burn him, that's just perfect because that means Ashiva might be able to take one hit from it. Maybe I actually haven't done the calc at this point. <laughs> Now, Evil Spirit is going to be a timid nature with 248 HP, uh, 208 in defense, 24 in special attack, and 24 in speed, with zero special defense as well. Um, I believe this speed is to outpace a max speed Adamant Pangoro, or was it? It might be Jolly Pangoro. I think it might be Jolly Pangoro. Because I think Pangoro, I think Pangoro actually has a pretty decent offensive matchup for him. Uh, yes, I have... Um, what's it called? Aromatease, but Aromatease isn't that bulky on the physical side, so I kind of lined a little bit of Moltres, but he could, I'm pretty sure he can carry like a Stone Edge or something like that. So it's going to be difficult if he brings it. Um, I could have brought a uh, Tabu Bulu, but it gets Poison Jab, so I don't really want to go against it with that. And this lets, allows me to outspeed it. However, when you look at my moves, you're probably going to think I'm crazy because we have U turn, Mystical Fire, and Scorching Sense. So you know, we don't even have a flying type move, but at the same time, if he doesn't, because I can't remember if it gets rug coverage, but if it do, if it doesn't, or if he doesn't bring it, then we can kind of just sit in front of it a little bit, like we, re we resist the um, fighting moves, and even knock, if he knocks off, we roost, then knock off all of a sudden doesn't do that much, because we don't have our item anymore, and we can basically just roost in front of him until he gets burned by flame body, basically. So that's kind of the general idea. Plus, I wanted Scorching Sands, so Mega Diancy wasn't a free swap in to my Moltres every time. U-Train, of course, for momentum. And I opted for Mystical Fire just in case he goes like um, Slow King Gala with this. Then I can lower his special attack, so it's not as threatening. I can, and if I lower his special attack, I actually might be able to bring a Shivu in on it. And even then, if he then decides to teleport into a different mod, I should be able to outspeed anything on his team, so I can just U-Train on it and if need be. But yeah, that's Moltres this week. Next up, we have Bronzong, also known as Wabiski. So this is where the heat set of the week definitely comes. Bronzong is going to be kind of interesting if I can pull it off. I think I have a good chance of winning. If I can't pull it off, well, we just have to take it from there. We are Iron Ball Holder is grounded, speed is half, a flying type takes neutral damage, and heat proof. So... The power of fire type effects against this Pokemon half, burn damage also half. I 100%, okay, let's say like 95% think he's been bringing mystical fire instead of earth power on his Diancie. Because if he brings earth power and I bring levitate on my uh, bronze lung, he does nothing. He cannot touch the bronze lung. I can swap into it, I can swap out immediately again. He's not staying in and he's not taking an, uh, an attack at all. Gyro, uh, Iron Ball actually also helps, helps with uh, Gyro Ball's um, uh, power. It makes me slower, so Gyro Ball hits a little bit harder. That's actually a, a really cool tech I hadn't thought about when I did it. Originally, I put the Iron Ball on it for something else, but I learned that afterwards and was like, huh, I actually do more damage now. That's pretty cool. The Eevee Spread is going to be Assassinator with 248 HP, uh, 0 attack, 48 uh, defense. Zero special attack and 212 in special defense. So as I said, I'm very much predicting mystical fire. So having 212 in special defense with the heat proof makes us a mystical fire almost does nothing to us. And if we look at our moves, we have Gyro Ball, Earthquake, Trick, and Stealth Rack. So I only have physical moves because then the mystical fire hit on me doesn't matter. Uh, the reason for tri Trick... I definitely think one of his better answers to go into Bronzong, no matter what I brought, would be Celesteela. And if I can trick Iron Ball onto Celesteela, that means Beedrill with Drill Run can actually sweep his team. Because right now Celesteela is the main th thing stopping um, Beedrill. Swampert can as well stop it, but Swampert is a little bit easier, I think, to get damage off on, where Celesteela gets lead seed recovery and Swampert. Like, if I knock off on the Swampert, or if I do anything to the Swampert, then if I go plus two and I hit it with... Well, it would be knock off, and then if it, has, if, it, if it has lost the item, it wouldn't really matter. Then I still wouldn't be able to kill it. But let's say it still has the item, I go plus two, and he has lost, like, I think it's 15 or 20%. I have a good chance of killing most uh, most Swamberts. 
So Mega Beetle definitely has a chance to sweep if I can pull this off. However, this is kind of risky. Like, first of all, I, I have to have the Celesteela in against me. Tricking my Iron Ball to anything other than Celesteela isn't bad, but it's not. it doesn't gain me a whole lot. Like, Rotomo would be fine. Uh, Cinder's would be kind of fine because it would make Cinder slow. But like Drudigan, Swampert, um, I can't do it to Silvali. But he's not bringing in the Silvali against this because it's going to be Fairy 100%. Um, and he's of course not bringing in the uh, Mega Dynasty. I guess Pangoro would be like kind of okay because it, it would make it slow as well. And then Ordino is like kind of whatever, I guess. Like Ordino is still slow, so it wouldn't matter, I think. But uh, yeah, there, there are more tag. Uh, there's just as many targets. It wouldn't matter again uh, as there are targets. It would matter again. So I do have to, like, it's it's gonna be difficult if I want to predict it. It's better to just have him in against me and then hope I can do pull it off. If he substitutes, that's gonna suck because Gyro neither Gyro Ball or Earthquake can touch the Celesteel at that point. And then I have to play around it. But I feel like if he brings the Celesteel, it has a decent chance of being a power of Meteor Beam, which power of Meteor Beam can come with Substitute, but then you're a Meteor Beam, power of Substitute, Autotomize, which just means you have one other move, uh, and it can be Heavy Slam, because then I literally just sit in front of it with Rotom every time. So I don't, I don't think a Meteor Beam set would have Substitute. I think it would be like Autotomize, uh, Autotomize, Meteor Beam... Uh, heavy slam and a move I don't know which move but a move now that's my team for this week well, here is what I think he's going to bring I think he's bring his Mega Diancy, his Celesteela his Silvali Fairy, his Dredigan, his Rotomo and his Sindres. so I think the Diancy, Celesteela, Silvali and Dredigan definitely are coming I think Diancy, Celesteela is too good of a combo to not come Silvali Fairy is his best like straight up phys uh, defensive answer for a Shifu and Dredigon is a really good way to get chip on the Shifu I think Rotom has a good chance of coming just because it is his best choice scarf uh, against my mom to make sure he can outspeed some of my team and I think Cinder is because it naturally outspeeds anything but the Beedrill also has a good chance of coming other mons that could come would be the Swampert definitely because Swampert has a decent defensive matchup against some of my mons uh, Pangor just because it hits really hard and my team isn't super happy about knockoff like Bronzong doesn't want to get it Moltres doesn't want to get it Gudra can kind of okay live with it but it would prefer not to same with Rotom can kind of live with it but, but, but would prefer not to Mega Beetle definitely even though even though Mega Beetle can't be knocked off it still doesn't want to take the hit at all and the same kind of goes with a Shifu because I'm Choice Scarf I do kind of want to keep my item a little bit um, Odino is like Adino can come just because it's a wish pass and that would be the only role it's going to come for I don't see Butterfree coming at all so yeah this is my team this week um, this is what I think he's bringing and as always if you like the video so far make sure to leave a like uh, down below leave a comment what do you think of my team do you think I'm being like kind of too out there with this whole Iron Ball strategy or do you think it's a clever idea to try and get around some of his mods and subscribe to the channel for future videos and with that I will head into the battle peace YouTube Alright, what's good YouTube? Gentlemen Thomas here, back with WPF Week 1 Battle of the A Division. <sighs> we are back with this league, and boy am I nervous for this first matchup, because my opponent has a couple of really scary mons, and then a team that's like a little bit janky in the middle, but it kinda, I think it still works, because I, I do think he can probably pull it off. I've never played against uh, A-Sort before, who's the, who the coach we're facing, I believe it's the New Jersey Needle Kings. And I've never played him. Um, I've never actually heard about uh, him before. And really, like, okay, that sounds so mean. Um, I've never. I know he won. I believe it was low tier um, division uh, last season. So I know he's good. Like just from that, I know he's good. Um, but I've never seen him play. So I actually don't know which kind of style he likes. But uh, he brought his Mega Diancy, his Celesteela, his Silvalia, which I'm almost 100% sure has to be Fairy. If it's not Fairy, he loses to a Shifu almost immediately. His Stratagon, which is Rough Skin, rough skin rough, Rocky Helmet, I'm like, if it isn't, that's just weird. His Rotomo and his Ordino. His Ordino is a little bit interesting. I did not expect that. I thought Swambot was going to come. Because Swambot has a pretty decent matchup against the Shifu as well. I thought Pangoro had a chance. Uh... I thought Cinder is definitely had a chance. I really didn't think the Ordino, but I guess with Regenerator, it is an overall decent switch, uh, swap into a lot of my mons. Plus, I didn't bring uh, really any um, status at all. Now, he could lead uh, uh, Dradigan, I think. He could lead Diancy. He could lead his own Rotom, which his own Rotom might be 
his lead, honestly. Do I lead Gudra? I feel like Gudra is actually an all-around good lead. But I get, then again, if he leads Orno, it doesn't really matter that much. Um, Romo, yeah, like Romo does nothing, but I'm just just as much just as much curious if I drop a Drago and and Sturgeon. Sturgeon actually would live. Hmm, that's interesting. Would it be that? Would it be terrifying for me if he glad my? Mm. Would it be terrifying if he glad my Gudra? I don't. I don't think so. Gudra doesn't need to be fast this game, and even if he, even if he leads his Mega Diane, I'm pretty sure I tank anything that things want to go. Yeah, I tank it, and then I can hit back back with an earthquake. So, I think lead off Gudra is fine. Uh, I don't want to get too much damage on the Bonzong. Just, 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 I'm leading Gudra. Let's see. Oh no. Okay, Dragon. I'm not mad about this lead up. Because if anything, he's physically defensive and not special defense. I feel like a Drago Media kind of just bops this thing. Now, if I go for Drago and he goes into Celesteela, that's a little bit annoying because that means I'm minus two for my flamethrower. And I don't really want that all that much. He could go his Diancy, but that's not terrible either. Um If he, like if he goes down because I just earthquake and that damage is gonna be amazing for the later game. Uh, what else? Like he go? Oh, actually he could go with Silvali. Honestly, Silvali fairy, because that that's like an overall good swap in for him, I think. And I, wow, I don't do nothing to that. Huh? Do I still just drop the Drago for the? Because then I can also confirm the Silvalo is fairy, which, like, if it isn't fairy, I feel like that's a throw almost. But hey, you know, I've seen people do weird shit before. <laughs> yeah, we're dropping the Drago. Okay, he does go to Silvalo fairy. I kind of figured. Okay, I kind of figured it would be Silvalo fairy. Like, th there's no reason for it not to be Silvalo fairy. Okay, question. Um, okay, you can't get Rock Slide. Would he carry Rock Slide for my Moltres? He very well could, I think. Thing is, if he does, if I go Moltres and he parting shots out, if he, if I go Moltres and he parting shots out, he's 100% going into his and Diancy, and then Diancy has his Mega off, and I'm in trouble already. If I go Bronzong and he goes, probably his Celesteela, I can trigger something. I'm thinking going Bronzong, just, just because Bronzong doesn't really care too much about what it does. Yeah, I'm going Bronzong because. Yeah, because the less I can l have the Mega Diancy come. Oh, he go. Oh, he goes Drudigan. Interesting. I did not expect Drudigan to be swapped into this. Honestly, I guess I guess to get rocks up. I mean, I guess we'll get rocks up. That's the Ralda and the Drudigan. I guess we'll get rock. Oh wait, um, ooh, is he predicting me? There's no way he's predicting me to be. Uh... He's predicting me to be heatproof. Oh well, no, not a levitate doesn't show. Never mind. If you're predicting me to be um, heatproof over earthquake, that's amazing. I'm throwing up my rocks. Okay, ta I taunt. Wait, Dreadgun. I actually didn't know. I actually didn't know um, Dreadgun got taunt. If I'm honest. Huh. <laughs> you know. What I'm saying? I mean, I think I feel like deep down I probably knew, but overall, um, I didn't. Okay, so this Dreadgun could have rock. Uh, could have like a rock type attack, definitely for my Moltres. I feel like. But if he has taunt, stealth rocks probably. I don't think he has a rock move. I think he has. And if I go Moltres, I can Scorching Sands pretty freely. Um. Yeah, I think I'm going Moltres. I'll try and see what he glare. Oh, rocks. Okay, thought as much. Okay, I can Scorching Sands with Moltres to try and like burn whatever wants to come in. Or if I can burn, if I can burn this thing, that would that was also also be really nice actually. What would he go? Because I mean, he wouldn't go Rotom. He wouldn't go Celesteela. Would he go um, Diancy? Maybe or or no, most likely actually.
All right, so he went his Mega Diancy, which we burned. So that means any Diamond Storm, any like any Diamond Storm won't hurt. Um, like, do I just go Bronze on immediately? I feel like it's so obvious. If he has Earth Power, that's so well played. Plus, I'm in with a Moltres right now, so I kind of just don't expect you to have Earth Power, if I'm honest. Like, my team is so off the ground, so I don't see you having Earth Power, really. Uh, I feel like, if anything, I do feel like also you would carry Power Gem over Diamond Storm, maybe. I mean, we're going Bronze Song, of course we're going Bronze Song here. It's what it's, what it's here for. Mystical Fire? I'm Heat Proof, baby! Now, did he carry both is the, uh, is the question here, because I do think he has a good chance of carrying both. So I kind of want to just Gyro Ball, get the damage off. Um, on Dradigan, but the thing is, would, would Earthquake do more to Dradigan just overall? Okay, no, no, we do, do, we do, we do more with... We do more with what's it called? Gyro Ball in general. So I do kind of want to just throw out the Gyro Ball. Um, if he's rough skin, Ruggy Helmet. Oh, he goes Celestia. Yeah, that's, that's what we want. That's what we want. That's what we want. Okay, if Celestia is Earthquake, do we take that? I'm kind of tempted to just take it. Okay. Oh, he stopped! Frick! God damn it! He subs, so he might be, he might be sub uh, autonomized, and that's not a good thing. <sighs> Frick! He sub autonomized probably. Ah, oh, this is not good actually. Um, I guess I go Rotom. Rotom is like the overall best answer here. Problem is I don't have Thunderbolt on Romus, so I would have to. Uh, I don't have the overall. Because I don't have Thunderbolt on Rotoms, I only have Volt Switch, so I would have to Volt Switch out into... <sighs> probably Moltres. Yeah, so we're going Rotom for now, see what's gonna happen. Okay, Lee's Seed. Okay. So I think what I want to do is I want to Volt Switch. If he goes... Um... Yeah. So if he goes... What's it called? Toxic. Okay, that's not too, ter too terrible. I can live with that. Okay, so now he know. I'm sorry, but he he told him someone uh, brought it in the mug, and I'm and now I'm, in my head I'm going through who did who did I tell I was Iron Ball trick. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was only Thunderbug and Thunderbug. If you did a mug against him, I'm actually gonna be kind of mad. Um, wow. So he sub Leechy Tuck. If he sub Leechy Toxic Protect, that's the most toxic. That's the most cancer cell steel set I've probably ever seen. If I'm honest. I kind of want to U-turn because I don't ex expect him to stay in, but at the same time, if he is to protect set, I guess that's what he goes for here. Okay, yeah, I can U-turn out, nice. Is it big boy time? Is it big boy time? <sighs> He's like 252. Bold. I'm pretty sure this thing is Dazzling Gleam, right? Because it's the Mega, yeah. So it gets Dazzling Gleam. I just want to make sure that should it be Trouble Bear. Okay, I won't die from it. But I definitely don't want to take the... Uh... Well, actually, after close combat, I actually probably will die. Won't die. Hmm, after close combat, I probably would die. So I could go Rotom, get rid of the rocks. Um, then I can... Like, I don't do a whole lot to this thing. Not having Toxic is actually probably going to be quite annoying for my team. Man, a little bit... A part of me wish I brought the original Shifa set. I was... Um, Shifa set I was considered bringing. Okay, so I can wake a blow for just overall damage. I can close combat, uh, of course, to kill this. I can U-turn to get out. I can Iron Head predicting the Silvali. Like, Silvali is 100% what he wants to like 
get in against this. I feel like Wiggle Blow is still fine right now, but I guess if a U turn. <sighs> this, isn't, this isn't going great, I'll say that much. Oh, yeah, sure, why not? Oh, he goes Drudge again. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. I was gonna rock here. Yeah. Okay, so he's, he's doing a really nice job of like swapping between his mons. Making sure that uh, he's swapping between his mons, making sure that I won't be able to um, that I won't be able to what's it called predict what he's doing. This this is an in interesting battle. The thing is, the Celesteel right now is the main issue. Um. Part of me, because I don't think he would ever click a dragon move here, part of me want to go Gudra right now. Part of me also really wants to go um, Rotom, because I want to defog these rocks away. Yeah, I'm, I'm going Rotom. Okay, Dra okay. okay. I mean, that's not terrible. I guess I, guess I end up going Gudra no matter what. <sighs> but Rotom, Rotom is starting to get low, and I don't like that. I'm, I'm stuck in a little bit of a loop right now. Uh, his Mega Diancy is actually really low. That's kind of uh, that's kind of funny, actually. Uh, let's see. Like I could Drago Media. I could Drago Media. He goes Silvali, and I kind of just get stuck in kind of the same loop. But even if he goes to Bali and I go something else and I click something else, like it's it's kind of annoying because I don't do not enough damage to the Silvali. <sighs> B drill mega. I'm trying to think here. So if I go mega B drill. On the incoming Solvali. I have a good chance of good doing really good damage. Honestly. Uh, wait, that's not the correct. Um, my guess would be he would probably go back to Strut again. The thing is, I don't do enough to the Celesteela yet. So if we're expecting this little volley to come in right now. Oh, he went on now. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, I kind of feel like this odd now is actually probably going to be one of the more annoying things to go against. <laughs> okay, you turn out. What do you clicking here? Wish? Or if you wish into your. Like I have to kind of sack Rotom's health a little bit still. Oh, it's annoying. He knocks off. Uh, okay, so I'm getting the defog off. I'm getting sick and tired of this. He might he might end up killing my Rotom here, and I might have to just. Is he fizz? There's no way he would be physical um, dancing. I refuse to believe that. Is that a physical? That's a physical. Oh, I don't know, isn't it? If I did that much with wall switch. I did 24. Oh yeah, that's physical as heck. Like he has zero. He has absolutely zero spdf. Okay. Wish. Like, I don't think there's... Arno gets a lot, a whole lot for Mega B, so I'm going Mega B and risking it a little bit here. Yeah, so I have to do something right now. Basically, okay, I think I'm just gonna click ordinary uh, knockoff, take the damage if he goes Dread again, but then I get the Rocky Helmet off. I don't have to look at that anymore. Okay, this is max defense. Could also 
clicks uh, sword stance, and then if he goes dread again, I'm. Oh, actually no. I... Oh wait, I'm not plus two. To... Done. Yeah. How? Mm, if he's like absolutely max defense dread again, he can survive it. So I kind of just want to knock off the Rari helmet. So I don't have to deal with that anymore. But the thing is, <sighs> I'm not. I'm, I'm not in a good place right now, honestly. He goes dread again. So I'm gonna knock off the Rari helmet. I'm kind of okay with that. 32. God damn. Okay, so I did 32 with regular just knockoff. So that's either a max roll, or he's not like max defensive. Part of me wants to sword stance in his face because I think he's want to get rocks up. Honestly. I don't even want to saw stance in his face and get rocks up if I can't. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. He gets rocks up, right? Yeah, I thought so. Okay. Do we click the poison jab and hope for the kill here? Well, it's a 50% chance to kill if you shoot max max. max, max. So let's do that. Okay, that's very... I should have... I should have knocked off. I should have knocked off. Definitely, I should have knocked off. Okay, I feel like his last move have to be heavy slam, right? Uh, that's not... That's not the dreading and the still I'm dumb. <laughs> I was like, why does that do so little? Okay, he does... He does 82 to 96 if he's... And that's if he's like... Minus attack. Wow. I wish I had U-turn right now, but I don't. And that annoys me a lot. <laughs> kind of also want to knock off this, just because I want to get like really good damage on it. And if he kills me, he kills me, because I don't think Beedrill is... Then again, Beedrill is really, really good for, for Silvali. Um, his Dragon being back, back at 100 is also annoying. I kind of need to try to try and see if I can poke some holes. But the problem is, his auto note gets to wish on a decent amount of my mons. <sighs> but I also really want to knock off this thing, like get 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 damage on it basically, and go into yeah, probably a shield. <sighs> then this already gonna. Fuck. Uh, okay, the dragon is proving to be way more of an issue than I thought it would be. Actually, you know what? I'm going for the damage. I kind of feel like it. Okay, he's very defensive. Okay, okay, heavy slimes kills me. I can look. Like I knew, I knew I kind of had to sag it a little bit, but it's it's annoying because I have a, a really really tough time right now breaking down his uh, team. It, uh, yeah, he's, he's like max. Team is uh, this is gonna be so difficult to get back to him, get back from. Oh my god, I'm actually gonna. I don't even know where the fuck you do, but I actually have to put uh, ignore spectators because this is getting fucking annoying. All of them are just talking and I hate it. Like typically, I don't get, I, I, I don't really get bothered by it, but when the when an X amount of uh, comments just starts pouring in, it actually gets a little bit annoying. Just. Just because of how many, and I, for some reason, I fucking I, I can't ignore them. Like it's so annoying, but I can't I can't ignore them. Um, I don't know what to do right now, honestly. I guess I go Rotom and a Volt Switch on whatever wants to come in. I think I get exactly two swaps in with Rotom.
Oh, okay. His, his defense has, is the highest at how he... I was like, how the hell did he get a defense boost? But it's the highest one, so that's the beast boost. Uh, I mean, I'm volt switching on whatever. Okay, he goes run a mode. That's fine. I think. <sighs> I, I don't know what to do about this matchup anymore. I can go as Shifu. Shifu doesn't even kill for this range. Oh my god, I hate this. I can go Gudra. He gets a free wall, wall switch off. I click Flamethrower on his incoming Silvali. I do nothing to him. Or his incoming Ordino, I guess. Uh, well, well, I know his Ordino is physically defensive by now. I don't know that much. So, like, Flamethrower into Dragon Meteor wouldn't even kill this thing. At, 80, at 82%. Oh my god, this ought to <sighs> I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Bronzong is kind of useless because he's substitutes. So I'm so annoyed. So if someone actually brought Trick Iron Ball, I'm kind of annoyed by that because it, it's such a specific set and, be able, and someone actually bringing that just annoys me. Like, a lot. I won't lie. I mean, I... <sighs> I'll go Gutra, but uh, I don't know how to get out of this loop right now. I'm not in a, I'm not I'm in, I'm in such a bad position. I don't, don't really know how to get out of it. I should probably actually, I should have brought Ace. I still feel like Ace actually would have put in work here, just because it has a, such a wide variety of moves. I mean, I, I want a flamethrower, but then he goes, oh, I don't know, he wishes a Drago Media, he doesn't die, and then he probably protects, gets his, uh... Actually, he could just wish Drago into his Diancy, I guess. Uh, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do, what to do. I don't know what to do. Like, I'm trying to get out of bound here, bind here. Like, I'm clicking Flamethrower, but he Volt Switches and he goes, oh, I don't know. And because the, the issue is, I can't even swap into a Shifu on a hard swap because that just means he goes, hey, he would Volt Switch out into something else. So it's like, Ugh. I'm kind of stuck in the loop right now. He's, he's getting a lot of his predictions correctly, and it's, yeah, it, it's costing me a little bit. Uh, he could go Dragon right now. I feel like that's risky, but he could. He goes like I feel like Savali is fairly decent answer because no matter what, I don't think you're okay. You are good. Oh wait, it has regenerated. This is a 100. I completely forgot that. Uh, I hate this man with passion. I hate this man with a passion. Oh wait, oh Dino. Like the the thing is, he wishes now, and I get to do nothing. He just goes to his uh, dirty gun and that, yeah. <sighs> I don't think I can see a way out of this game right now. If I'm being honest, because because even if I go Rotom now, he wishes and defog. He literally just brings his dirty gun on the wish. Set up, sets up rocks again, but I guess I can will a wisp on that turn. And if I can neuter its attack, I can at least be... It. But it's, it's not like this is annoying because of its attack. It's annoying because of rough skin. I don't know what to do. I actually think I am kind of stuck here, not knowing what to do. He could very well knock off because he wants to knock off and... 
because he wants to knock off what's it called. He he makes sure Rodan doesn't come in. If Moltres comes in, he makes sure that um, the heavy duty boost is knocked off. Uh, if he goes to Shifu, it'll scarf. If got like, I, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I actually think I am kind of at a place where I don't think I can break down his team honestly, because the thing is, he has two really good answers for Shifu. Uh, so that means every time, every time I go into a Shiva to try and kill this Ardenau, he could just swap into Ardenau. Either I lose health because of rough skin, or I do nothing because it's Silvali. Um, so right now, that's the main. Like people saying the Celestia, but the Celestia isn't the issue. People are like looking at one Mon, it's killed a Mon, sure, but that's not the issue. Like, I don't know what, to, I honestly don't know what to do. Like, I, guess, I guess I'll go bronze on here, because I already know what he wants to do, but I can't even pre prevent it all that much. Okay, he did not off. So I'm, I'm kind of happy I didn't go, um... I'm pretty happy I didn't go, what's it called? Yeah, he's, he's gonna wish now. That's the issue. Like, I'm giving him a free wish, but honestly, if he had wished on, on the actual turn... Uh, if they if they had will wish on the actual turn, okay, he goes to the because you kind of realize I don't touch it. So yeah, he gets what's uh, he gets his fucking sub seat stuff off. Because <sighs> I want to know his full set right. Yeah, sub leech. Yeah. Bronze, <clears throat> bronze. Song. I don't know. Well, I know he's very like fist stuff, so I guess he. I'm so I'm I'm gonna ask Azor who he mocked with, and if it turns out to be the person I'm thinking of, I'm actually gonna be kind of pissed, just because that 100% means that 100% means that that person brought it because I told him so. I'm almost certain, and yeah, that might be me salty. Hey, let me be so fucking salty. <laughs> uh, I'm just trying to figure out how to get out of this. So he subs. Uh, left was knocked off, so he would only get he would only get lead seats. So he subs a gyro ball. He uses a gyro ball. To hopefully break the sub. Uh, so actually, this exchange might not be that bad. For me. Okay, oh he lead seats first. Okay, I guess I guess that actually makes sense. And now he subs. Okay, so this isn't the worst because he lead seat he lead seats now. He's sure. At least each, but now he has to. Now he has to swap. But I still think actually I'm gonna go for the mystical fire. He's going, but he's going to his fucking auto no, and it's so. <sighs> I can't break through this team. I actually might legit just give him the six up because I can't break through it. I should have brought my. If I had brought my original Shiva set, I'm pretty sure I beat him like easily. And this, is, it, it annoys me. I didn't. It annoys me. I didn't. It really annoys me. I didn't. I mean, I feel like I have to mystical fire because I can't let this uh, stay in. Uh, he, he goes out. And I, I, like I knew he would, but also I also couldn't let the um. I kind of need. I almost have to. Like I'm gonna roost to get a little bit of health back. Knock off. Yeah, no, I don't have my heavy duty boots. I, d I don't know. Like, I'm. I'm out. I, I don't think I can win this game. Like, I I'm, I'm getting sick, so right now. Like, there's nothing I can really do about it. Like, I don't even kill this thing at all. Um, but I, I guess I have to defrog if, if we want to get rocks off. Like, I don't get people saying Ordino is the issue because Ordino is 100% not the issue. Like, I don't I don't get... People that think Ordino is the issue, you only look at this as the face value. I don't get it. 
Like, you, you're looking at it as the face value of what this game is and not... Like, you do have to realize I have to think about six mon as, at all times. Um... <sighs> the, the main issue, I have to think of six mons all the time, and there's like two mons that stops my main, all you know, answer just going from going haywire, you know. I wish I brought my. I... <sighs> I, I don't know what to do like I'm 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 so lost right now in what to in what to do I don't get it Honestly, I don't. I don't think I can play this game for the win right now. Like, the, as they say, there are no tanks, Moltres, uh, Gudra, and um, Moltres, Gudra, and uh, what's it called? Okay, so he doesn't kill me if he's not any attack on this man on this thing, so I actually do think I was going to just go. <sighs> okay. He needs seed at home, oh my god. Man, I wish it was Sepsib at that moment. Oh god, wait, this video is like super long already. Oh, okay, it's only 36 minutes, not nearly as long as that. I'm sorry I'm being a little bit quiet, but I, like I'm... Uh, my my brain is like really trying to process everything, but I, I don't see a way out right now, uh, if I'm honest. If he Because if he goes Ordno, I have no way, I have no way of beating that Ordno, especially with lead seed up.
I don't, I don't know what to do. I, I, I low-key might just want to go like haywire at this point. <sighs> he just attacked this time around. I can get nothing true. I can get nothing. You know what? I don't care. I'm just clicking at this point. I don't care anymore. I'm just clicking. I don't care. I lost. 6-0. Congratulations. Like, hey, Sword, I, I want you to know I'm not mad at you. Like, you, play, you played the game very well. You brought really good sets and, and everything. But just in general, this match just kind of pisses me off a little bit. Uh, shut up, toxic. Again. Like I'm, I'm sorry, I'm I'm getting a little bit negative, but I'm not really getting negative over, over the match. Like I got six old, I've been six old before. I don't really care that much about it. It's just more like I got I got unlocky with some predictions, especially here at the end. Actually, um, and just in general, I'm just like I don't know. I don't care at this point. Oh my god, that did nothing. <laughs> oh, that did absolutely nothing. Like, I'm, I'm just clicking here. I don't care. Get the 608 sword. Like, con con truly, truly, I mean this. Truly, congrats on the sets. It was very well played. I couldn't do anything to break through your team. Um, uh, anyone that should potentially watch this that thinks uh, that Ardeno carried the game. I don't think so because I have to. First of all, my team is prepped around his entire team. That's why I'm Gooey Gudra of uh, Sapsiba. I don't need Sapsiba because I take nothing from Rotom anyway. And I really didn't think he would be the lead. Uh, this this substitute leads to Toxic Heavy Slam. Still, still, I did not believe that was going to be what it was. Um. I guess. <laughs> but yeah, um, really good prep by. Um, I guess I'll get still frogs up for some reason. I don't know why. Um, really good prep. Uh, I wow! Finally, he goddamn missed. Who thought I could get RNG on my side? Kill me. Like, I know I lost. I got 6 0. It is what it is. I don't fucking care about the 6 0. GG. Uh, yeah. That was not a good match. I wish I brought the. I so wish I had brought my original Ashifu set. Because I 100% think I could have swept with that. 
I really do think I could have swept with that. And it pisses me off I didn't. Oh, it pisses me off so bad I didn't. Um, You might have seen in a quick cut here, but that's kind of good because I forgot I had to end this video. So, as always, if you like the video, make sure to leave a like on the video. You know what? I was salty and I don't care because he did he did well and I'm allowed to be salty. Like, this was a good win by him, but I just, I just feel like him predicting an Iron Ball trick on Bronzong is insane i didn't i never in my wildest dream thought that was gonna be a thing but fair enough like he did it makes sense uh, i guess in some way and um, leave a comment down below you know what hate me all you want leave a comment down below if you really do and subscribe to the channel for future videos and with that i'm out peace youtube